Active learning ambush. Active learning ambush. Hello and welcome to the Active Learning Ambush. ambush. I'm your host, Tanisha Baca. I'm actually standing outside of the High Tech Center 2 to see if I can find anyone who can share any active learning strategies for the Active Learning Ambush. Robinson room is open, so I'm going to walk in here and see who's in here. So, and I see Sherry. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Um, I'm doing the active learning ambush. So I'm looking for people who have active learning strategies. So would you be willing to share one with our audience today? I would be. All right. So what's the strategy that you have? Um, so for my critical thinking and critical reading 101 class, um, I just did this a couple weeks ago. Uh, where do you stand? Nice. So it involves um, three signs. I post three signs on the wall, a, an agree, a neutral, or disagree. And um, I use it to introduce issues. So um, we look at a structure of an argument in Cree, and um, I post an issue, usually dealing with social issues like immigration reform mm -hmm. um, is an example of one that I've used. And then it's in the form of a question. So based off how they feel about that issue, they choose and go stand on a wall. So once they're there though, uh, this is maybe a, a different spin on uh, maybe like a four corner activity. Once they're there, they turn to a partner and they explain why they chose to stand there. So why they agree, why are they neutral or why do they disagree with that issue? So I time it and I give each uh, person 30 seconds to share with their partner. And then after that, we open it up for open discussion. So they've had a little bit of time to share with themselves. Um, and what's neat about the activity is first it's very visual. So everyone is up participating, they're doing the partner share, and then they can ask each other questions. So part of our class is also um, the way that you're asking somebody questions to keep that conversation going. So um, they ask each other why they feel something. And they might throw in a spin, like, well, why do you feel this way? Well, what if this, this happened? Or they give a different spin on it. So then based off that, you have students that maybe are rethinking their original position. Mm -hmm. So then maybe they move to a different area based off how the questions are going in the discussion. So then um, they also identify if the issue is prescriptive or descriptive. And um, I do it for usually five to six different issues. So this you know activity goes on and um, it's very nice for students who maybe are a little bit more shy. They get the beginning opportunity to partner share um, they get the opportunity to change where they stand. Those students that, uh, and it's surprising, students that you think are quiet sometimes open up because then they're very passionate about certain issues. Mm. So then it stems other dialogue. Okay. So it's so neat because they're looking at multiple perspectives and why they feel certain ways. So it's a great activity for active learning. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Okay, great. Thanks. All right, bye-bye. Till we meet again.